Hello, my name is Nikki Gelder and I'm one of the design technology teachers here at Quacky. I'll acknowledge uh, Iggy Pop and his lust for life. Choose design technology. Choose a subject that focuses on people and how we live. Choose a subject that focuses on a more sustainable way of living. The subject's about problem solving and collaboration and there's no one right way of doing something. So you don't need to know how to draw we will teach you those skills. We will start by learning about classic design. We will learn how people develop their ideas by using lots of different sketching techniques from freehand drawing to using CAD, computer-aided design. We'll use rapid prototyping using the 3D printers and we'll use some traditional sort of hand techniques and modeling. We will learn about how materials work and why we choose certain materials. Um, for different types of applications. We will work collaboratively and problem solve and we'll make small changes to existing products to impact the quality of people's lives. As design technology is process driven, you can tailor it towards problems that you've identified. Generally, students pick their own projects and the focus for their projects. So you can tailor it towards something you've noticed or you want to improve upon. Focus it towards something that you're interested in and you have first-hand experience in using so it's not going to be you creating the same product as your classmates you're able to take it in in different directions and have the autonomy to to do something that you're interested in and it's about the process not the end product and how you overcome problems respond to challenges and how you incorporate user feedback and working with a target audience for example some of the minor projects that the year 10s have been working on this semester are tailored towards their hobbies. So we've got students who are into martial arts and we've also got students who are really interested in um, creating a shoe that has interchangeable um, studs that would go on the bottom. So rather than having several pairs of shoes for their different um, activities, they have wanting to create a, a modular shoe that would save time by just having the capabilities that you would need for hockey or for sprinting. So they're doing that through prototyping and taking apart existing shoes and then redeveloping and using the 3D printer to create some, some studs that would be able to go into a custom shoe. This isn't a manual arts course and this isn't a visual arts course. It's a blend of lots and lots of different subjects. So design is in everything you interact with every day, whether you think about it or not. So how you got to school, how you opened your breakfast cereal, to how you might talk to somebody. So design's in everything.